Cześć, w dzisiejszym nagraniu zapraszam Cię do Bad Honef. Jesteśmy 60 km od Köln i około 30 km od Bonn. Chciałbym przedstawić Ci wyjątkową osobę, instruktora IPNFA, fizjoterapeutę. Chciałbym porozmawiać z tą osobą na temat, w jaki sposób odnieść sukces w naszym zawodzie, w zawodzie fizjoterapeuty. Zapraszam więc do gabinetu. successful physios like you are Thank you. of course or I meet with people who have some knowledge to share how to become a successful in life for example how to be successful physical therapist uh -huh. so I talk to those kind of people and then I share it with young physical therapist to point out what we could do to be more successful in our professional uh -huh. life I see. that's why I ask you if we could have a chat about this because okay. you are a really good physical therapist. I know this already. I know you for some years. Thank you for flowers. <laughs> <laughs> you are an IPNF instructor. Yes. You are a father. You are an entrepreneur. You travel a lot. Uh, you teach all over the world. For sure, you are a really successful person in your life. So today I would like to ask you a few questions. Yeah. How it's going? So let's start. How you decided? To become a physical therapist. How okay. was in your case? Okay, short story. History after Matura. Uh -huh. After Matura, I decided to study sports. Uh -huh. Yeah, but uh, Matura was not that good, so I have to have a second, uh, second way. I so you don't have to be perfect straight of the way. No. You can make mistakes. And <laughs> make, of course, of course. Some, you know, it's uh, sometimes it's uh, trial and error. Uh huh. And sometimes some mistakes are giving you the right way to the right direction in your life. So after Matura, sports, no chance for sports. Then second, op uh, second option, physiotherapy. Okay. And later sports. Okay. So, but after after my experience with uh, physiotherapy, I decided uh, no, I I stay in this uh, mm -hmm. profession, and uh, and so I. Uh, I was educated, of course, mm -hmm. three years, four years uh, in Germany. And I noticed, okay, knowledge. I need more knowledge. <clears throat> that was important for me. And I started my education in, um, after, after my, um, great, after my physio exam, mm -hmm. I started education in Switzerland. Oh, okay. What so, was that? Uh, Switzerland. Switzerland was a uh, town, Bad Ragaz, oh, okay. Bad Ragaz, very famous in this, in this time, uh, 80s and 90s of the last century, mm -hmm. and a very nice place with uh, very interesting people. So, Bobot instructors, Maitland instructors, uh, Kleinfugelbach instructors, mm -hmm. yeah, functional kinetics, and all they come together there in a house called Hermitage. Mm -hmm. And in this Hermitage, people are coming all over Europe. Mm -hmm. For learning, for for education, Bobat courses, Maiden courses, PNF courses, Klein Vogelbach courses, and I was part of these people mm -hmm. um, in in Switzerland. Okay. And so I had my first PNF courses there with Arya Ferenczyk. Okay. okay. Which year that was? That was in the eighties. Okay. Eighties, eighties, and yeah, in the eighties. Okay. And then a PNF course one, PNF course two, and three, and you know this uh, situation. And after level five, I stopped and said, "Okay, now I want to do something different." And I started with manual therapy, Carlton Born Evian system, and then I was had some Bobart courses with Pet Davies and other instructors. And uh, then I got I had, I had question from an instructor, PNF instructor in the eighties, late eighties. Hello, Werner. You are ready for course assistantship. Can you help me with the PNF course? I said, okay, no problem. I can do this. And so I uh, had some assistant courses. Mm -hmm. 
and in 90 I finished my education PNF and from this time I'm instructor. Mm -hmm. So it it sounds like lots of education. A lot of education. Is it yes. important for physio to keep update your knowledge? What's your opinion? Because sometimes people just finish the studies and they think okay I'm ready? No. I'm ready. No, no, you're never ready. I think I think for me it's important to know. I, I think for for me it was important. I never felt ready. Still. Oh. It's still the 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 idea, okay, I have I can learn more. And this is the interesting fact in, in, in our profession that every every in every part of the world somebody has a good idea. Mm -hmm. And can, and so it's interesting, ah oh, this is a good idea. I never was thinking about this idea. And so you can uh, you can travel to this guy, have the course, and take the information and the knowledge. Huh. And what is the, the in the end better treatment? The patients are satisfied with you. You're becoming rich and famous. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, this, this is important, I think. Okay. And it's still for me. I'm still, I, I'm still interested in other concepts. I'm still interested in, still interested in other concepts. And other concepts are changing. Manual therapy is changing. Boba is still changing. PNF is still changing. And these changes are interesting. If you do the, the stuff from 1980, mm -hmm. I think it's not. Well, this is not. This is not. Up, if it's not updated, it's not good. Okay. You know, sometimes people say, okay, but this concept says totally different from the other one and they're kind of fighting each other. What do you think about this? Is it really said always that there is only one good way to treat the patient? What's your opinion about this? About this fight between, I don't know, I Bobat, PNF or uh, Maitland, Kaltenborn or, or things like I, this? Okay, I can tell you. I had a lot of uh, teachers mm -hmm. and the teachers said, I know. I'm the only one who know. And if you follow my line, uh -huh. you you are the best. But I met not only one, I met two or three. So the problem is if there are two or three people who say, I understand. So you have to think about okay, if three people understand in different ways, it can be it, it cannot be only one truth. Yeah, you understand? Yes. So critical, uh -huh. critical, listen, uh -huh. try to understand and take the topics which are interesting for you and then it's okay. okay. Don't believe everybody that uh, says I understand and I have the truth. I understand now and it's only one truth. There's not only one truth. Okay. Yeah? See the point. So you always pick something that works for yeah. you. Yeah. So and I still I still do this. Of course a lot of work uh, with my patient is of course with PNF. Mm -hmm. But I have other concepts. Of course, you need this. You need tools. If you if you want to, if you have a car and you want to uh, reorganize this car, <laughs> you need more than one only a screwdriver or something. You exactly. need more tools. Yeah. So and this is the way it works. And I have PNF. This is big basic. And I have manual therapy. I have NAP from Renata Horst. Mm -hmm. I have Bobat. I have Maitland. I have Kaltenborn. So I, the more you have the better it is for your patient and you can think about hmm, for this patient I take this, for this patient I take that. Right. Cool. Fine. And it's and it's interesting for your work. Uh -huh. Only one only working in one direction, I think it's boring after one year or two years. So I'm, I'm still in my job now for 30 years. Uh -huh. And it's still interesting. 